Hello and welcome back to Attingham Park. Um, there has been some serious deforestation gone on um, and a little bit of dodgy landscaping, but all for a reason. So I have tested the sheep pasture with grazing and happy to report that it works. So the one we are going to go for is this little one. Now... It needs to be, how did I remember it from before? It needs to be this way around. It needs to go roughly. Let's try and get it parallel to the other fence. I reckon there. Okie dokie. So, got a water trigger, got a... Um, Tipping point for food and uh, spawn point for wool. Now, the one thing we need to do is to go into the construction menu again. Landscaping, plants and meadow grass. Now, I want to try and do this carefully, <laughs> he says. Um, just so that we don't fill the uh, water trough up with grass. So, let's get this done. Dragged along here. Down to there. And back along. We'll drop the size down as we come past here. And we'll leave that corner as it is, I think. We'll come along here a bit just so we've got everything covered. And along this edge down here. Hello, tree. There go this edge looks fine down here there we go and we could probably put a bit in out here we'll leave the uh, spawn point clear i think right we better buy some sheep now hadn't we right then so up at the livestock market and uh we need to find the sheeps so i think I think we're going to go for, we're going to go for the lambs, I think, and we will get, how many can this hold? 12. Go for 12. Keep the cost down, but still, uh, yeah, we can see the, see the sheeps in the pasture. So there's not a lot else um, to be doing through November. Um, I've been feeding the cows and uh, making sure that they're all fed and looked after. So it's um, yeah, it's one of them really. It's a very slow time of the year. Um, the slurry and manure are starting to pile up again. Milk production is uh, steady. Let's just leave it at that. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll get the sheep to their new home. We will grab them some hay. Um, actually, no, we won't. We'll uh, get the sheep to their new home, get the wool unloaded. We'll advance time a bit and uh, just double check that the grazing works. I did mention that there was some uh, dodgy landscaping going on here. Um, I have to look at trying to sort that at some point but um we're here we've got uh all the sheeps intact so this uh pasture holds 30 um so there is uh, space for them to breed so now if we just turn the engine off to uh save on engine hours we'll uh Come over here, and uh, if we advance the time, we should see the grass drop back a stage. Fingers crossed. Oh, yes. Look at that. Brilliant. Fantastic. I was really uh, stressing about it, and uh, yeah, no need to. Just ask for help and take note of people's suggestions, and... Uh, Jobs are good, and so if we take a look now at the animals, 
you'll see they've got 750 litres of food and uh, yes, yeah, the grazing fills every uh, every slider, so that is good. What we're going to do is we're going to grab them some hay for now and we'll uh, just uh, drop a bale off and that should be plenty to keep these lot alive. So I've grabbed two of our big round bales and uh, very slowly over this bumpy section going to uh, drop them down there that should now I don't think for one moment it's going to take all of that and that is actually the water point isn't it so I think uh, some repositioning is needed there we go really do need to sort this uh, a bit of a bump out there hopefully that is going to be a little bit better yes there we go so that is them full they only take 3,000 litres but that's going to keep them going for a fair old while so what I think I'm going to do is just looking at the state of that uh, landscape in there I'm going to uh, take some time to just uh, sort things out and uh, you'll see me in a minute so the landscaping is as good as it's going to get um so next job is to sell this auto stacker load of straw um we've got plenty and to be fair it's just getting in the way and also i forgot that it's leased um so it is costing us a little bit of money each day but uh not a horrendous amount um so we'll get that back in there and unloaded so looking at the price of things straw isn't too bad um strawberries are on the increase so we may uh, load up the trailer and sell some of those probably in december i think that's when the price is getting uh, almost at its peak so what's that 20 21k for those bales fantastic so we can now go into the leased items menu and we will return that there we go we've still got the uh, water and milk trailer that's fine quick check in the used vehicle sales nice nice track 175 horsepower not too much of an upgrade though to be fair yeah it would be a yeah story spreader in there wouldn't that right i don't think there's anything else that we really need that's fine right we'll get back to the yard and uh i'll probably see you in december i think into the first part of december now and uh just topped up the cows and um whilst checking the food menu I uh, realised the mistake that I have made. Um, we didn't give the sheep any water. Say we. Um, I I didn't. <laughs> can't uh, can't put that one on anybody else but me, unfortunately. Um, so we need the water tanker. You can see the manure pile is uh, rapidly increasing in size. But uh, yeah, so we'll just take a look at the animals. We are very close to the max amount. I think it's £3,600, I think, for the limousines and for the Angus. So we've got uh, calves nearly with the Holstein, the five Holsteins there. We've got these ones that are 20 months now. And uh, yeah, we're uh, all good on food. Slurry, getting a little bit high. Need to keep an eye on that. Milk, creeping up slowly. In fact, we might... In fact, let's have a look at the price of milk. How does that... So we could wait until January, probably best. What does it say for price? Yeah, we'll wait for wait for, wait for Jan definitely on that one. 
Um, we are going to sell the strawberries today. Um, they are not at the absolute best price, but um, we could do with uh, having a bit of a tidy up really and getting rid. So I'll get this filled up and uh, I will see you when we are giving it to the sheep. There you go, sheep. I am very, very sorry. <laughs> oh dear. So let's just have a quick look at them now and see are they looking any better? Yes. 1500 litres of water, plenty of hay, and whatnot. We'll see that we can see the uh, open air garden has got its uh, winter covers on. That took a while for us to put on. Uh, and uh, I've only just noticed that the grass has died back. I hadn't spotted that before, but that's a. Sure, it's died back a bit. Oops, I like that. It's very uh, realistic for the time of year. So, what we could have done is given the greenhouse some water, couldn't we? Um, I will see you once we are loaded up with all of these strawberries. Well, um, they're all loaded up. 12,500 litres of strawberries. Um, it's looking a little bit jostly on there. And um, as you can see, the trailer's not liking it at all. Um, now, I need to just put on the markers. There we go. I think it's that front one, isn't it? As opposed to the one round the back. Or is it? We'll see. We'll go for the front one here. And see... Now we get on. Yeah, that's the one. That's going to uh, bring us in a tidy amount, actually. Um, poor, poor trailer. I think uh, trailer could be an upgrade that we need to look at as well at some point. But it's done us all right so far. And there we go. It just doesn't like all of that weight on it. What do we get for that? Nearly six grand for strawberries. Super. Can't grumble at that. So uh, what I think I'm going to do now is skip some time. Um, we've uh, got the animals in a good state now, now that the sheep have got some water. Um, the greenhouses are all fine. And uh, yeah, we can advance the time. So I will see you in a uh, month or so. Well, we're into the second part of December and uh, reasonably early morning it's uh, just going about 20 to 9 isn't it so the reason that I have stopped um, advancing time I suppose you should say is something interesting has popped up in the store so let's just dump them spuds there and we can drop that bucket off and uh, take a look what is in the sale. So we've got this, the ribbery. Now this will come in rather handy for uh, feeding the sheep predominantly. Um, what capacities have we got? To... Oh, we have to pay to have a, a lesser. All right, we'll go with the uh, thirty-five thousand. 500 litre capacity um so yeah so this is going to come in handy for being the sheep uh predominantly um let's just check see if there's anything else oh that would be nice wouldn't it um but also possibly the cows um we may be able to use it for um forage harvesting but uh yeah so i'm pleased with that i'm glad that's popped up glad i kept checking so what we can do now is there we go we've got a nice full mix we can get backed up out of here and uh, go and feed the cows so this is a lot easier than uh Armston. um I'll say this now because i am well ahead on uh, my recordings and uh, yeah, feeding 500 cows with Mace Plus 
is hard going. It really, really is. Um, on here, I can probably skip near enough a day um, with the cows having a full trough. Um, Carmsden, it's two hours max because um, when you go into the third hour, then the trough's empty and yeah, it's hard, hard going. So how are we looking? Really good all round. Straw could do with a little bit of a top up, but uh, yeah, not uh, not worried about that. Milk is up over twelve thousand liters, and that is all good. So that's going to probably take most of that mixer. So uh, yeah, I will see you in January. Well, we're into Jan and uh, treated myself. Um, that's um, interesting. I thought I changed that. Okay, well, I might need to have a look at that. But um, yeah, so we've leased the uh, Turbo Farmer. It was never going to appear. So, you know, it probably will do now. But um, yeah, we've leased it and it is going to speed things up no end. Um, we should be probably looking at doing two loads of this silage rather than the five that we were doing before with the uh, what's it called? Front loader. Goodness me. Absolute mind blank. So we've done one silage bale, we've done one bale of hay, two scoops of that, and now let's get some potatoes. Talking of potatoes, we have got loads um, over in the open air gardens, so what we can do is probably at some point grab a trailer, uh, load it up um, just from the pallets, and then um, come and dump it in our bunker. Let's just make sure that we're going to be okay. I think we will. Uh, that is looking rather good. So that actually makes the mix a lot easier and a lot quicker. Um, we don't need to be using the molasses and the mineral feed every time. Uh, let's just dump the spuds there. We can turn off the engine. And uh, yeah, now I thought I'd just copied a modded one where that is not supposed to happen, but I'll have to check it. So let's jump in. In fact, actually, come back to that in a moment. We are okay for food, so that can stay there. The sheep are running through and eating the roughage, which is good. Water's okay now taken a cultivating contract so this is field 40 which was sugar beet um but we didn't harvest it and uh the, the farmer didn't get around to doing it either so uh, we've picked up the cultivating contract which should bring us in about nine grand probably once the uh lease fees are off for that beast of a new holland and the cultivators that's not, we're not going to take long at all not a massive field so that's going to run around on course plate for us let's uh now what we can do is we've got to shift some slurry bit of a repeat job because if we look at the cows 150,000 litres of slurry but also 18,000 litres of milk so we're going to sell that price for milk is on the up hopefully fact it's probably peaking peaking there we go yeah so sunrise bakery or this is holland's village shop i think nice and close that bakery will fill up reasonably quickly as well so uh yeah mrs holland's village shop it is so um first things first i will do the slurry off screen because we did that a lot in the previous episode and then we'll sell some milk. So just uh, giving the cane trailer a bit of a rinse out as uh, we'd had manure in here previously. So before we go and 
collect the spuds, I thought it best to give it a bit of a rinse. So, we can now lower that back down. You'll see the uh, cramp trailer there has got corn in it. That's been being topped up. Oh, sorry. Been using that to top up the uh, seed production. So that's merrily working through the corn and the uh, seed dressing. So we can now head to the uh, open air garden and uh, grab ourselves the potatoes. Quite like in this little area. I'm very pleased with it. So, oh, and we've got a bit of wool. Oh, right. I'll get these pallets loaded up and uh, we'll see how much we end up with. Well, 20,000 litres of potatoes is um, quite unexpected, actually. That is um, rather a good haul. So I think what we're going to do, rather than put them into our bunker, where we've still got uh, quite a few um, thousand litres, we're actually going to sell these. So we need to head to county stores i think so we will have a little drive down there now i think what we're going to do past this point is um start moving forward even quicker um the uh farming seems to have taken a bit of a um what's the word back seat that's it to uh animals and whatever else but don't get me wrong i'm enjoying it we need to uh get on and see uh what the next few months bring so once we've sold these potatoes it is likely that i will see you again in february just to uh check in and uh then we'll go from there if anything happens that's interesting um, as I am moving through the days I will of course stop and uh, we can catch up and uh, discuss what's going on but until then I think uh, yeah, we, I'll be uh, feeding the cattle and the sheep off screen um, and yeah, we'll see how we get on so we're not far away from county stores now I'm uh, recording this on Wednesday the 21st of December so first day of my annual leave so yeah already got one video done today and this is the second one so I'm getting ahead which is really really good um, it's a, a nice feeling to not have to worry about work and whatnot so Right, let's see if we can't get these sold here. There we go, that'll do. So rather opportune that it's a good price in January for, for potatoes. So hence why we are taking that uh, opportunity. So seven grand, 7,740. Lovely. Right, I'll see you in uh, February. Well, I've had a complete and utter brain fade today. I forgot to do the milk what an absolute nana so let's uh, see if we can't find a trigger now I'm pretty sure it's here no might be round to the side so I think um, the plan is now now I've remembered what I'm actually doing Um is to get this milk sold and then uh, we'll get the contract finished in field 40 and then that will be an episode then <laughs> I will see you in either February or March whichever uh, you know see if there's anything happening there we go that's better so yes I'm glad I remembered this because yeah it's nice to be able to sell our first full load of milk. How much have we got left in the tank? 157 litres. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's going to be lots of slurry selling 
off screen as well that needs to be done um, just the mundane stuff that we've covered previously so I'm going to take a nice steady drive to Mrs Holland's village shop which is just there and I'll see you in a second so just uh, well, it looks like we're pumping the milk through the front door to the uh, shop but we're honestly not um, so yeah unloading now and uh, money is going up rather rather nicely and uh, yeah it's about time to um, hopefully the milk production or uh, the production rate and the rate the cows are producing carries on like this because 20 nearly 25 grand per tanker is uh, fantastic so I think uh, what we'll do is I'll leave that there can come back and do a uh, thumbnail with that later um, we'll go and find the cultivator which by the looks of things is relatively close to being finished yes it is um, so I think uh, we might actually say thank you very much to the worker and uh, we'll crack on and do this ourselves so plodding up and down using this cracking setup um, I wouldn't oh I'm missing a little bit um, it is good using the big kit that uh, is available on contracts and but I wouldn't I wouldn't change our setup I don't think I'm pretty happy with it um, I think uh, when uh, the spring comes and we can start planting then we need to look at getting a roller maybe um, but yeah we're pretty set now um, it'll be interesting to see if um, a Merlot does pop up in the store now we've actually leased one um, but yeah I mean the daily costs on it the amount we're going to use it sorry the daily costs will be what they are um, but the hourly fee you know for the amount we're going to use it is not going to be a great deal so yeah kind of made sense just to go with it so that's the contract finished um, but I think we'll uh, we'll do a thorough job for this farmer seeing as uh, we had the opportunity to harvest his crops for him and uh, we didn't take it so yeah feel a bit bad it's a shame just to be cultivating in all of these sugar beet but hey it is what it is so yeah the merlot glad we've leased it it's going to speed up making the mixes um off the camera and on camera um you know doing two shovels instead of five i think we were doing for the maze um yeah it's going to beat things a lot lot quicker so i'll uh, get this finished and i'll see you uh, when we are collecting on the contract last little triangle of withered sugar beets to uh, cultivate in there we go we can get that folded up we'll uh, take the tractor and the cultivator back to the gate for the farmer to pick up Said it before really nice setup not a massive field didn't take long at all thanks to course play <laughs> Make that sound like I did it all myself. So, engine off. We can leave that there. Let the game save. Into contracts. And we will collect nine and a half grand. Thank you very much. Anything new come up yet? So, let's just have a quick look at the map, actually. Now, there are a lot of fields that have got nothing in at the minute. So, I'm hoping for... In the spring, a raft of uh, seeding and planting contracts, which will be cool. We've got our um, corn to put in 45. We've got um, potatoes or sugar beet, I think I said potatoes, in 36. Um, we've got our canola growing down here. And we've got our grass fields to be uh, working with as well. Now, the corn this year... I'm not sure what we're going to do with that. We might bale it for uh, bale the maize silage and use the bunker for the grass. Um, but we'll see. It's just an idea. Maybe do something different. So um, yeah, all good. Right, let's um, fly back to the yard. 
where I'm going to now start carting slurry. Um, so I'm going to say thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, leave a like, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.